just have a pink Kangol hat just like that. Uh, Max, does he look worse now? Because it feels like Cam's not letting it go. Cam, you won. What are you doing? Like he's given up the game after he already won. I said he won by TKO. Stop the fight. And now he's still in his feelings about this. And by the way, what he, what he just did wasn't entertaining. It wasn't funny. It wasn't profound. And he seemed to be very impressed with it. And he's still thinking about this dude, Kelvin Benjamin, after he smoked him already. He got him. He did the tweet with Greg Olson. Everything about it. Kelvin Benjamin had to apologize and still Cam hit him with a shot. And it was like, OK, it's over. And now this, Cam, what are you doing? You know what it reminds me of? You ever see like a, a street artist doing portraits or something yeah. or, or landscapes on yeah. TV? You'll see. And you're like, OK, it's perfect. Leave it alone. Yeah. Then they got to add another 10 minutes of stuff. You're like, you just made it worse. <laughs> what did you do? You had it right. Cam, you had it right. You had it right. You had me. And you lost me. I mean, he gave away the moral high ground here, and he does not make him look good. Well, I disagree with you. Um, listen, it, there, there, there is something to be said for ultimately letting things go, but that's not the point here. The reality of the situation is that he confronted, if you watch the film when he confronted Kelvin Benjamin on the field, Thomas Davis, he was like waving him off. Go ahead. You know, get on out of here. I got this. And he confronted Kelvin man to man. Kelvin wants to go back, and Kelvin wants to talk to reporters and talk about how he didn't want to talk. He didn't want to talk to Cam. Cam clearly has some work to do. He's only completed better than 60% of his passes two times in his seven-year career. He's entering his eighth year. We understand that, and as obviously there's some truth to what Kelvin Benjamin has said, but that is not what Cam is alluding to. What Cam is alluding to is the importance of being able to trust the people that you are around. Like for example. It's not about liking folks all the time. It's not about liking how they are. I'd be damned if folks like me all the time. I know better. But I know this much you can trust about me. I'm going to be Stephen A. I'm going to be who I am all the time. It don't matter what you think, feel, or whatever the case may be. You can trust that this person is going to be who they are. And that is what matters, particularly when you are the quarterback of a football team. There's a lot of things that go into it. Think about what a quarterback, the responsibility that a quarterback has on their shoulders. It's not only their job to know their job, they got to know your job. They got to know what you're supposed to be doing. Plus, they have to be a leader. Plus, they have to be a spokesperson, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of things that come into it. Every Wednesday, the quarterback goes before the media during the season and talks. You trying to tell me that in three years, Cam Newton didn't have a, a incentive or, or justification to go in front of the media and talk about Kelvin Benjamin? Never did it. And so the point that I'm trying to make to you is that when you look at it from that perspective, no, it wasn't funny, it didn't work as well as he may have liked, and I agree with that. My point is, his point was valid. His point was, excuse me, there's a level of consistency that you should have from the people around you. I have always been Cam. It, it, even with that footage that you're maligning, think about what you said about Cam in the past. As wrong as he might be from time to time, it is aligned with what he is. The Super Bowl, you got on him more than anybody. Not just for not, ball, not just for not jumping on the ball, but also getting up and not wanting to address that when being questioned by the media post Super Bowl. You brought that up. Well, guess what? This is the latest example. Cam being Cam. That's who Stephen he a, is. Stephen A, I don't have a problem with his point, saying he wants people with consistent I know that. character around him, right? My point here is. He was above the – he got down a little bit and rolled around in the mud a little bit, but the way he did it was funny, entertaining, correct. It ha he had the moral high ground. He, he made his point. He won. He, and then he obliterated him, and then he stepped to him like a man, not in a hostile, aggressive, physically confrontational way, but in a way like, listen, let's talk about this face-to-face. -face. It was sort but of it, physically it, confrontational but, because but he was in But it wasn't like they were going to fight. Yeah, I know it that, but like, he was say in it to my like, face. That's right. I respected that's right. everything that he did and the way he handled it. I did not respect this yeah. because it's over but you're and acting, he's still but going you're acting, But you're acting as if... You're, you're, right. yeah, yeah. you're acting as if Kelvin Benjamin departed from Cam and said nothing. No. Or he won, brother. Listen, listen, why is he hanging on? Listen, that, does it at all make you think he's Cam looks a little no. weak, like he's still it's not, talking about it's it? It's not like, a, why it's, are it's, you? A, it's not a little weak if you're real and true to your emotion. If somebody has gotten on your damn nerves and you ain't let it go, 
you ain't let it go. That's what the point is. I'm not saying that it Punching would have been. Down. Any, I'm not saying yeah. that. Well, you know what? Sometimes, listen, excuse me. You don't get to re respond to that because you've applauded people punching down all the time. You no. do, I, I listen oh, to you, you at least. Up. I listen, yeah, you no, punch I, listen, up. I, listen, I listen to you. I listen to you at least 19 times a year on HBO. Oh you go always. You applaud dudes punching no, down. No, Not oh, a oh, thing. Oh, you got overhand, right? Exactly. exactly. So just stop it. You don't get to say that, okay? But my point that I'm trying to make to you is this: it's consistent with Cam. Would I have done it? Would you have done it? Probably not, but I don't have a problem with it, and I don't think anybody gonna, else should. If you hit a guy yeah. while he's on the canvas, you're going to get DQ'd. Or he no, he already knocked him out. No, 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 no. He already knocked him out. He's on, he's on one knee. He's, he's about to get DQ'd behind that. Time out. I get the point that he's trying to make about the wall and don't change and base that. I get that. But come on, the video was a little corny, guys. You guys know that we already, but we both acknowledge that already. Corniness. That's not the focus, but we both acknowledge it's corny. that he's staying authentic. Corniness, no doubt. But here are the two options. Either he's in his feelings, he still wants to talk about it, or, and maybe this is even oh worse, God. he's in, so enjoying the fact that he's routing Kelvin Benjamin publicly that he wants to do it some more. Yeah. That's beneath him, or it should be. Well, it's not, A, and B, you also have to understand that because of what Kelvin Benjamin said, it's put both of them in an elevated spotlight because we're going to look at Cam now. You got Greg Olson back. Okay, you still got functions there. You got some weapons. You got McCarthy. You, you got uh, what's this kid from Stanford? I'm sorry, I got brain lock right now. The running back for, that they drafted last year. Oh, I, Christian I, McCaffrey. That's Christian McCaffrey, right? You've got that going on. So because you have those pieces in place, people are going to be looking for you. So ball. To debunk, which he will. It's not like he ain't gonna show up and play. The point is, is that. And ultimately, you were irritated by this man. Yeah. You responded. I see no problem with it. I see no problem with it. Kiki, do you love the first video. three? Really? And, and, and you are the one person that you'll sit up there if he wasn't in his feelings. I mean, do you? What do you stand for? Leave him wanting more. That's what you would say. That's what you would say. Oh, 